Star Talk with Lady Lily on a Tuesday. All right, let's get it cracking. Oh, let me hurry up. I see that school bus come down here and block up the street. Let's get it cracking. Happy rainy Tuesday. Um, hang in there, Shy Town. The weather is going to get better. It's supposed to start actually warming up tomorrow. And um, I can't wait because I'm ready to start back running and I want to run outdoors because I got a race next month. So I need to start hitting the hard pavement. I'm going to do an indoor run today because. Um, the next few weeks is going to be crucial up to June 16th. That is the 5K I'm doing. So I got to get my body back conditioned into running. So I got a short amount of time to do it. So we got to get it done. So anyway, let's move on with today's news and topics. First, I want to send condolences out to the families and the victims of the Santa Fe, the shooting that took place in Santa Fe, Texas. Um, on Friday, a gunman came in and ended up killing uh, um, 10 people, nine students, one staff member. And um, it's just sad, it's just sad. It's, it's a trend, it's almost like Every so often, every so few months, there is another school shooting. And it's in the South. If you pay attention, it's been in the South. East Coast, South, you know. What's the West Coast? West Coast, South, you know. In small towns, more rural areas. It ain't, it ain't going on in the metropolitan areas because as... Um, a YouTuber, Beautiful Soul Speaks, said, you know, you know, when you start going into these city schools and these public schools in the main cities, you know, we got metal detectors, we got gates and fences, and you just not walking in freely, you know. As I told people a few weeks ago, I went to speak at an elementary school for their career day, and I had to go through a metal, tech, a metal detector. Um, when I go, sometimes I have to go pick up a check when, for when I do my referee stuff. I have to go through a metal detector. And my purse has to go through, you know, the, um, you know, they searched my bag. So, yeah, I'm praying for them. I'm hoping, they said the governor claims he's going to step up and try to do something with the gun laws. But it shouldn't take that, it shouldn't take that happening for you all it, it, it shouldn't take people dying for people to um, feel like now they got to go address the gun laws and all that stuff. This, we, it's been a cry out for it long, long time ago. And it's just like how many more kids got to be, you know, murdered at school for people to wake up. I'm like, you know, this is, you know, let's get it together. It's, it's just no excuse for this. It's just there's no excuse. You can't sugarcoat this anymore. You got to stand up and you got to, you know, make something happen and change these gun laws. So, yes, my thoughts and prayers are with the families. God bless the school district. And, uh, yeah, because it's going to get to a point that parents probably are not going to want to send their kids to school. They're going to start considering homeschool. But even then, if they got to go work, who going to do the homeschooling? You know? So, that's just something to think about. We're going to go ahead and move on. Maybe we're moving into more moving into more lighthearted news. Um, Christy Teigen and John Legend welcomed their second addition to their family. I think the baby was born last week, Wednesday. Um, on Sunday, they re revealed a picture of their baby boy. I think his name is Miles Theodore. Um, baby is healthy and happy, and the family is happy healthy and happy so congratulations to them also congratulations goes out to kaya apparently missed my neck and my back got married over the weekend or last week in mexico to her longtime boyfriend they had a private ceremony um, with um, close family and friends. They wanted something small and intimate because, you know, she's coming off all that hype with the Queen's court issues and the gag orders and lawsuits and all that. So they just wanted something that was private and intimate. So, hell, like somebody said, miss my neck and back. 
could get married. I know I could get married, girl. I I'm, was with her when she said that. I'm with you, too. If, if my neck and my back, thug missus could get married. Lisa can, too. So, congratulations to them. You also know that the royal wedding took place this um, weekend. Prince Harry married actress Meghan Markle um, in a fairy tale castle style um, wedding. They said this ceremony was one for the culture, as they say, as it did represent, uh, had a lot of African-American um, representation. Um, they had a gospel choir um, that did very well, um, very well. Um, and they sung a couple selections. They had an uh, um, African-American uh, minister to come and give and um, a word. Um, Actually, I say he did a, a, a quick mini sermon. That's what he did. But it was really on point, and he even quoted, um, you know, Martin Luther King. They had a uh, African American male that played the, I want to say, is that the cello? And if I'm wrong, please let me know. But he did some selections on a cello solo. Um, but it was really nice. Uh, some of the uh, celebrities included uh, Victoria and David Beckham. Oprah Winfrey had cha uh, came. And actually, they said Oprah had to change her dress. She had to get a dress made overnight because there is a ruling that says that when you attend the wedding, you cannot wear a dress that photo that photographs um, white or close to white. And I think she had a uh, originally had a beige dress on, and they have a rule that um, you cannot wear a dress that photographs close to white. And I think that's, um, it was a lot of talk about Idris Elba's um, fiance. A lot of people said they didn't like the outfit she had on. And they feel like that was, you know, not appropriate for that type of wig. And she didn't wear stockings. Her outfit was nice. And I think she had to keep her coat closed. She had on, a, I think it was a Gucci dress. She had to keep her coat closed. But uh, when they open it up, you see a whole nother dress under there. Um, her dress was also like white beige and the same rule applies you cannot have nothing on that photographs close to white um at uh at a british wedding like that so it was okay uh stockings see i'm not a fan of stockings i tell you, i don't like stockings i'll do stockings in the winter i do stockings when i have to usher at church but me personally i do not like stockings i hate stockings that's why i say i always can't wait to the summertime because i do not like stockings i wear them because i have to but i don't like stockings so that's why i'm just waiting for this weather to break because lisa don't want to be putting on no stockings i don't want to put on no stockings anymore so that's my big thing. I do not like stockings. Um, but I thought it was okay. Is it up for a big discussion? Not necessarily. You know, it is what it is. Okay, I got to get over because somebody's coming. Okay, I hope you get whoever you got to get. All right. Glad it's just not me. Okay, anyway, that was the police speeding up. That was the state police. So, go get them. Whoever you got to get, go get them. So, um, damn, you shouldn't went that way. You stuck. Get out the way. That's what she tried. Get out the way. He got to go. Dumb dumbs. Lord have mercy. You see the man got flashing light. You just gonna stop. Just get out the way. Turn. You gotta break the rule a little bit, but you gotta get out the way. So anyway, back to what I was saying. We'll talk about the world wedding. So we, um, Meghan Markle's dress was simple yet elegant. A lot of people say they didn't like it. You gotta understand. You gotta understand the culture of that. They are not finna come down now with a bunch of gaudy stuff on. I think Diana's dress probably was, may have been the most gaudy you have seen if you look at Kate Middleton's dress and um, Meghan Markle's dress. Um, by far, um, Diana's dress was probably the most gaudy. But the times, you know, that guy look at that, that was what, in the 80s? The times have changed. Um, but I thought it was, it was, it was elegant. It's very elegant. It was plain, 
but it was elegant and you know she had uh, her tiara was borrowed from I guess the queen or whatever they did manage to get her a tiara um it was very for it kind of form fitting but you know you still had to be they believe in the wedding dresses being modest so you'll never see you know what we see with tattoos and backs out and all that you would never get that for a British type of way so um, she looked great. Her mom was very elegant in her green. Um, I love her mom kept her locks and just pulled them back. Her mom had her nose ringing. Mama was chilling. The only thing I did not like about that is they, you know, she couldn't have a sister or a cousin or a friend to sit with her. That's the only thing I didn't like. Like, was Meghan Markle's family not invited at all? I know there was an issue with the dad and the sister, and he ended up had to have heart surgery and all that. But you mean tell me none of your friends could come? None of your close um, family? I think she had friends come because I believe the little, some of the little kids that was in the wedding was a good friend of hers, um, children. But, um... We can't get aunties. See, that would be a problem for me because, you know, my aunties and uncles, they like second parents. And my cousins, we like siblings. So how the hell would that work? So I'm just saying, how would that work? But um, the ceremony is very long because I got to watch it. I didn't get up early and do all that. Mm -mm. I watched it on the replay that evening. And that ceremony, I'm like, do it take all this? I'm like, you got the minister, the priest doing what he's doing. You had the black man come. Minister, you had all these songs and singing. It's just all necessary. Hell, come on with the come on. That's how I felt like. Come on with the come on. Like, get married already. But it was, it was, for what they said, it was very culturally diverse. That's what they're saying compared to the prior ceremonies. Um, oh, I forgot Serena Williams was in also, um, I guess Elton John. It was a, quite a few bit of celebrities. They did say Meghan Markle's um, her stylist, makeup people. Those all was people from Hollywood. So, you know, people talking about it is no big deal. I just think people like a love story. Was it that you know their things are so spectacular? But I think people like a love story. They like the fact that she did not embody all the things they really require for a person to be. You know, you know to be the duchess the new duchess because she's the duchess of susux or now or, or sussex or whatever but she just didn't embody she was 36 she's divorced of course she's not a virgin you know they usually want a young girl version and yeah so um we're happy for them uh god bless them i did like her second ceremonial dress uh, when they rolled off into the Jaguar, I think that was nice. Because I think they have two wedding receptions. The first one's the one that everybody can go to that was invited to the wedding. I think the other one is more of a smaller scale. Um, so, yeah. So, congratulations to them. I hope, you know, maybe they could change some things. You know, change the culture of how things are set up in Britain. And, yeah. So, um, congratulations to them. So, I think that's it. Um I've been watching basketball wise and yeah. That damn Evelyn is messy. And Jennifer's messy too. But that is it. That is all. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, have an awesome day.